Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West, and today's question comes to us from Ariaga Guerrero on Facebook. And she says, Hi, Melissa. Hope this finds you well. I've been following your podcast for half a year now, and my life has really improved in many aspects. Now I am really starting to live my yoga through practices like Ayurveda, and hopefully I will get more into Kundalini. Today I practiced with episode 116 about Ayurveda and the five elements and have a doubt. It seems I am kapha, according to Dr. David Frawley's website and your description, but you mentioned that kapha should not work in cold weather. I really enjoy the cold weather, and in fact, I am about to move into a place that have long periods of cold weather. So I was wondering what to, uh, I could do to balance out my kapha energy when I live in this new place. It is important for me because I intend to stay and live in this place for a long time. So in the show notes, I'm going to link to um, another blog post where I introduce you to all the doshas because there are three doshas. There are kapha, pitta, and vatas. And kaphas tend to be very earth and water um, out of the five elements. Pittas are a lot of fire and vata are a lot of air. Um, so I'll also link to a free Namaste yoga class that we do on the Kapha Dosha so you can learn more about the Kapha Dosha and also Namaste Yoga 116, which is another free yoga class where we do on the Kapha Dosha and the earth element. So um, what are some things that Paula can do to balance her Kapha Dosha in the cold weather? One of the things that kaphas can never get enough of is lots of good exercise. So that earth and water element is very slow and inert. So one of the things you can do to balance that slow inertia is to keep moving. <laughs> um, also, kapha doshas like to get slow and inert so they can tend to be couch potatoes too. So... They can get involved in creative projects, so keep, keep creative. Um, in those cold climates, it's, you can have a tendency to get um, colds, you know, get that buildup of mucus in your bodies, and kapha doshas are, are really more prone to that buildup of mucus in your body. So use a neti pot to stop the buildup of mucus in your body. You can also use a dry breast to stimulate the circulation in your body as well. You can get a, a dry brush with natural bristles at your health food store and um, just dry brush through your inner thighs. That'll stimulate your um, immune system quite nicely. Your lymph nodes too, like up through in here. You can look up how to do that on the internet. Um, you can avoid heavy foods, especially dairy, which will cause the buildup of mucus in your body. But I really recommend checking out Dr. David Frawley's uh, books. He has great books on Ayurveda and, and yoga, so that you could look up um, what yoga practices are good as well. And I really like Deepak Chopra's book called Perfect Health. It's a really simple one to understand for more details on how to balance your kapha dosha. So that's my best advice for you today. Finding a great yoga class is becoming more costly and difficult. Now there's a better way to self-improvement in the privacy of your own home. Visit Dr. Melissa West at melissawest.com and start getting free weekly online videos. Real yoga for real people.